games or whatever, do you, you still have rights to some and all that? Can you give maybe a little bit? That is correct, right? You do yeah. Have, okay. Well, we have everything we have. Playmore actually had posted a press release and it showed a lot of games that we had the rights to, rights to, but there are some that are missing. That's just from human error. We have our own list. And we're gonna, we, we just haven't updated it because we just let it, leave it at that. But there's a lot of games that we technically don't have, say, the rights to the game. The rights are owned by the, by the company, whoever. But we have the rights for the artwork, repackaging for everything made by, um, that was coming on the Neo Geo from 1990 to 2002, I think it is. I have to double check the paperwork. But, but we can release, we have all the artworks already on file. So, uh, but... Would these be MVS conversions, or would these be like the, the round... Whatever they would be. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to retrofit an MVS to AES, which is a conversion, we could do that. We have the artwork, and we have the rights. What's called repackaging. Repackaging means repackage it. We could take the MVS, put it on the AES. We have all the boards. We have, so we could do this. We have the artwork. They already supplied us with the artwork. As I showed you, all the little paperwork says, this is for use with this. So you make artwork, anything we want to do. So it, now's the time. That's why we came back. We're releasing new games. We you know, released every game that's out there has come through one way or another has originated with Neo Geo Freak. We might have had Ironclad. We sold Ironclad, a few copies to people. Then all of a sudden they started making copies. We sold, you know, and once they make copies, copies of a copy of a copy. We did that with Ghost Lop. We did that with Zoo Papa. Did that with Bang B, Bang Busters. The copies get out there and they circulate. And we've when you sold. Say they circ can you clarify a little bit on? I sell, like if you're a, I give you a, there's a new Metallic album comes out, I make a copy. So these are the CD? No, no. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm giving you an example. I make a CDR of a new Metallic album. Before it's released, you make a CDR of it and give it to your friend. He makes it and gives it to his friend. So if we could have a game like a Zupapa. If I sold you the one cartridge, all it takes for you is to dump the ROM and then mass produce it. So at one point or another, someone has, uh, I'll give an example, a ghost lop. We sold someone a ghost lop, and that person decided to make two ghost lops, or four, or ten, and it goes on. That's why we were very particular of who we sold our games to. We had a thing called a ladder system, where it was an in-circle. We, we had to know who you were. You couldn't just come to me and say, you know what, I want to buy, uh, I want to buy Last Odyssey. How much? I said, I'm not selling it to you. And then we, because I knew as soon as I sold it to you, it's going to get leaked. So we only wanted to sell it to collectors to protect our own investment. So a person would, it would just be like a regular customer. We knew you were good, you were good, you bought this, you bought that, we sold you this. And that was another thing we did 10 years ago that now there's another person who's selling games and you know these games have originally somehow come from us sold the one game because we're going to release another game but to, release, to get that game you would have had to purchase the first game to release, when he gets the third game you would have to have purchased his first two and so on it's just part of that in circle system we did to weed out people from reselling it and then people were mad, oh, you won't sell us this game. They were so angry, but now other people are doing it. So it's a way of protecting your investment. But when we did it 10 years ago, people just didn't understand. Mm -hmm. But that's, we have all these games and there's still some more games we have. We've, we've, and we've let them leak out. We've leaked out a screenshot here or there. We've leaked out a little videotape here or there. So they're out there. Now we're just, we're all working together. All the distributors, all the resellers, we're in constant talks and seeing, because we don't want to step on each other's toes. I don't want to say one thing about one game when the other person isn't ready to sell this game yet. Well, let's let's sell out. Let them sell out. Sell out a hundred copies before we even start talking about the next one. So that's what we do. We time it accordingly, and as the game's about to be released, we start talking about the next one just by a leak, just a little rumor that you hear. And then two three months when the game is sold, now people are. Oh, there's another one coming out. So that's the way we all work together. And we're always talking about making, a, I guess I told you about a box, new cases. We've been talking about that for months, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. And I've been looking into the, making the actual boxes clean, 
not to scratch up the cartridges. I'm actually thinking about making new cartridges too for some of our releases. It depends. So it's all ongoing. And now now's the time where people are gonna we're thinking the future is gonna be the homebrew games. Like the ColecoVision had the homebrew market. That's gonna the only thing that's gonna save the keep the Neo Geo going is homemade games. And we're looking forward to that. Are there many I'm not familiar with uh, the homebrew scene for Neo Geo. Is there that many out there right now? Oh yeah, there's a few. Okay. There's Have a, you talked to any uh, Yes. Okay. There are some. There are some that are coming out from Germany that are fantastic games. Uh, the NG, NG Dev team. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. Know what yeah. yeah, okay. Great games. I love those games. They're a great company. Uh, there's there's some that I've seen already. Not from them. From a. But they do their own cartridges. Yeah, yeah. that's the that's the future. I've seen uh, one guy sent me some uh, captures of a game he's working on. A little early, very early staged game, maybe looks like 1990 Neo Geo, but what are you going to do? You know, that's all you can get, you know, and when these games come out, if you can find the stock and have, get the stock available cheap to do the retrofit, to burn them, to put the conversion, that could be conversions, because it's not a conversion, they're just going to put the, the ROMs on there like the ColecoVision community does, you might be able to sell these games for $199. Which is cheaper than Neo Geo World, one ninety nine or one fifty, and that's going to keep the system going. So we're looking forward to that, and we'll see how these programmers are going to progress. And I'm sure they're going to be getting better and better. But the the, the idea is to get more people to do it.